The President, please be seated. Before we begin our proceedings, we would like to invite Mrs. Sakovati to report on the attendance of the parties to the proceedings today. Mr. President, I have already verified uh, the presence of the parties to the proceedings. They are all present. Toutes les parties sont présentes. The President, the trial chamber would like to inform the public and the parties to the proceedings that uh, the hearing will be scheduled uh, from the 23rd to the 26th or 27th of November to hear the final statement, the closing statements of uh, the parties. And according to the scheduling order, for the closing statements issued on the 30th of September 2009. In order to make sure that uh, the proceedings of the closing statements are smooth de la and uh, precise, and since this is the final stage of the proceedings, de la the trial chamber would de like de to inform or to remind uh, the parties to the proceeding and the public that uh, this is the final stage of the proceedings ce fait, à savoir que nous en sommes arrivés à la dernière étape. So the trial chamber would wish uh, to please uh, remind the uh, parties uh, that uh, please bear in mind the multilingual and multicultural setting and speak at a measure et multiculturel. Je vous invite par conséquent à parler à un rythme mesuré. And uh, number two, please read Je vous demanderai aussi out numbers slowly. And Lorsque vous donnez des chiffres, de les donner lentement et de les répéter si c'est possible. Three, Troisièmement, please spell out long and Lorsque or vous avez difficult names. évoqué des noms difficiles ou longs, je vous invite à les épeler. Four, please remember to turn on your microphone before you start speaking. Make sure that you speak directly into the microphone. If you start speaking and remember that your microphone is not on, please repeat what you said before when you turn it on. The interpreters uh, may find it difficult to interpret if the sentence is not Par fully ailleurs, complete. Il peut être difficile aux interprètes de vous traduire Five, la phrase. Five, uh, if the exchange is taking place between speakers of the enfin, same si language. Enfin, l'échange a lieu entre des personnes qui parlent la même langue. For example, Par judge exemple, and counsel who both speak the same language. 
before replying to the interlocutor in the same language. The speaker should wait for his or her interlocutor to finish speaking before taking the floor, which will allow the interpreters to keep pace. The trial chamber hopes that uh, the parties to the proceedings will be mindful of uh, these guidelines, and we hope uh, that the proceedings will be as smooth as expected. The security officers are now instructed to bring the accused to the dock. The President, uh, next uh, we would like to give the floor to the civil party lawyers group one to present uh, their case. They have one hour and 15 minutes to make such statements. The floor is yours. Council Tisrina. Mr. President, Your Honours, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, my name is Tisrina, the national co-lawyer for the Civil Party Group One. I would like to introduce myself and my colleague, Mr. Karim Khan, Karim Khan, who is here to present uh, the final oral statement uh, before the chamber. He will be taking the floor first, uh, and I will be making the statement after him. So may it please the court that now Mr. Karim Kham uh, take the floor. Mr. President, Your Honours, Counsel for the Defence, uh, Leonard, co-prosecutors, uh, my colleagues for the other civil parties, good morning. Uh, Your Honours, it was about nine months ago when the initial hearing in this matter was conducted. And at the end of this trial, Your Honours will give birth and will render the first jurisprudence emanating from this court, which will address the legal responsibility for the first time in this, uh, in this court, arising out of the events some 30 years or more ago. Your Honor, it is humbling and also a privilege to stand here representing Civil Party Group 1 to make our final submissions. Your Honours and all members, all parties in the court are in possession of the final submissions that were filed previously on behalf of Civil Party Group 1. It is of course not our intention to simply read out those arguments and those submissions. We trust that in due course, Your Honours will give the most anxious scrutiny, the most careful consideration to those submissions that were put in by, on behalf of the civil parties that we represent. Your Honours, there are an awful lot of firsts in this case. Monsieur le Président, this, of course, is the first 
completed trial. Tout d'abord, c'est le premier procès à se terminer. Not only of this court, non seulement ici au sein des CETC, but the first completed trial, mais aussi le premier procès where civil parties à se terminer dans have had an active role. Les parties civiles ont joué un rôle actif. And of course, the road has not always been easy. Naturellement, ce chemin n'a pas toujours été facile. To be learned. Il y aura des enseignements à tirer. We are humble enough. We hope to acknowledge that reality. But it is my humble submission that whatever flaws and defects that have bedeviled the representation that the various civil parties that appear before you have endeavoured to put forward on behalf of the clients they represent, it has been done in good faith and has been a sincere attempt to make sincère. the system work, Soucieux the system, of course, that was devised by the drafters of both the Cambodian government uh, and the United Nations. Les fondateurs du tribunal, aussi bien au sein du gouvernement But, Your Honours, I would ask that in reviewing the testimony that you've heard, vous avez entendu Your Honours, be constantly alive to distinguishing between rhetoric et vous avez pu faire and reality. Ce qui était et ce qui it était is, of course, réalité. and has sometimes been the case, that allegations have been made that the civil parties that les appear before you and the victims that they represent vous, would like euh, vengeance qu'elle représente chercher vengeance. Par la défense, that of course we are in a court of law, naturellement nous étions uh, dans not un in a market square, et non pas where one is pillaring, au bazar, where one is stoning, où l'on pourrait clouer quelqu'un au pillaring, et lui jeter des Civil party participation has Vous been a success jugerez, or a failure. La manière dont les parties civiles ont participé à ce procès. But Your Honours, I do recall, with Mais the greatest of respect, euh, my own comments avec, back in February, respect, when I sought to make, to, make to make it février. very clear for the record that the civil parties we represent, civil party group one, and I believe the transcript discloses, we speak with one voice on this matter, that all the civil parties that have appeared have not, in fairness, despite the tragedies and the suffering that they have endured for all these many years, they have not succumbed to the basic instincts of seeking revenge, but have sought quite properly to avail themselves of the procedures put in place so that they can have a voice, so they can have closure, and to assist your honours in seeking to get to the truth. Your honours, will also be alive, no doubt, to, on occasion, Madame, messieurs, suggestions being made that we are on a aussi laissé entendre à plusieurs no more than prosecutors. Uh, que les parties civiles se voulaient, uh, of course, uh, un Rule 23 of the Internal Rules binds the scope of civil party participation. De la But, Your civiles. Honours, whilst we are, it is correct, enjoined, to support the prosecution. We have not simply aped the prosecution uncritically. And once again, by way of one example that pertains to the civil parties I represent, I do recall right at the beginning of these proceedings in February, the attempt put forward by the prosecution to introduce the doctrine of joint criminal enterprise. Uh, and on that occasion, I put, made my reservations known. And I do note that Mr. Rue and his uh, and the defense team for uh, the accused do in their submissions 
dans leur propre observation contestent aussi enterprise. l'applicabilité ici de uh, la notion so d'entreprise criminelle commune. Le groupe 1 des parties civiles n'a déposé aucun document à la clinique euh, de l'introduction de cette proceedings. doctrine dans la procédure so espèce. If, in the course of these proceedings, in the course of reviewing the evidence, you come across any suggestion that uh, civil parties are simply outflanking uh, and outnumbering guise, uh, a poor, low accused. Uh, I would ask you to step back and have pause for thought and seek to decide actually what have the civil parties sought to do. Je voudrais rappeler ici ce que les parties civiles ont souhaité faire. It is, of course, a challenge, a challenge that you as professional and experienced judges are familiar with to get to the truth in this jurisdiction. Uh, of course, it is not simply about proving the guilt or establishing the innocence of an accused person that's before you. Uh, in my respectful submission, and I stand to be corrected, one of the advantages, one of the inspirations behind civil party participation, apart from the ultimate possibility of reparations de la as defined in Rule 23 de is to allow et le fait the victims que l'on permet to come before you in whatever form, de se présenter documentary statement sous forme or de viva voce witness ou sous forme that de appears before this court à la barre, to give your honours an insight as to the impact the alleged crimes have had upon their lives and the lives of their loved ones and to bring to bear Cela permet aussi a unique perspective, de donner une perspective, a perspective which the victims themselves victimes are best able uh, to provide qui sont les that will assist your honours uh, in getting les to the truth. Dans la manifestation de la vérité. Now, your honours, today our submissions will voilà, broadly juges, follow the structure of our final brief. In a moment, moment my learned friend and colleague, uh, Mr. Srinath will address your honours in more detail vous plus on en the role of civil party participation, participation, the legal standard, ainsi que la norme and also, in light of one of your honours' uh, recent decision, Ou encore à la lumière de la base rendue par le juge de la base participation qui soutient la participation des participants. Your Honours, I will then seek to make some submissions on what we in Civil Party Group One say is the guilt of the accused, and also then to address Your Honours on the question of reparations and some ancillary matters that may arise in the course of those submissions. Your Honours, in reviewing these submissions and in reviewing the extent or the scope of civil party participation, I would also ask that at the end of these proceedings, in your deliberations, you do once again consider any suggestions by the defence that there has been something that perhaps on occasion has been described as inequality of arms. Il y aura eu à certains moments de la procédure l'inégalité des armes. On one side of the courtroom is a defence team facing une équipe de la défense, not one prosecutor, qui aurait face à elle non pas un procureur mais cinq procureurs. Civil parties are not prosecutors. Les parties civiles, mesdames et messieurs, ne sont pas des procureurs. But on the issue of equality of arms, et sur la question de l'égalité des armes, I think it's only fair to bear in mind, when assessing the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the success or failure of the civil party participation, that the evidence, the
garantie. and effective, not theoretical à savoir les droits and être illusionary. Et et non pas des droits your Honours, I do accept fully illusoire. that Your Honours have Là, juges, attempted with great patience to allow civil parties to participate. But we do not have the resources Mais de notre that côté, have been given to the defence and that are at the disposal, disposal of the prosecution. Uh, Your Honour, apart from uh, it being, uh, as far as civil party group one is concerned, Mesdames, Messieurs, les juges, pour ceux qui when I was approached civil, at the end of last year to represent the 37 civil parties de 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 that make up our group, les qui there were, of course, very real groupe. reservations that I had, émis des not only in the system and what could be expected, non seulement par rapport à ce but dealing with système, the resources. Mais aussi, uh, vis -vis but one is faced with an disponible. issue, whether or not one steps and seeks to assist with whatever, with whatever deficiencies may come along with that attempt to assist or whether or not one steps back Mais in such a way that will, re that will result in the largest civil group party being re without representation. Now, Your Honor, I have not been here for much réserve. of these proceedings. Le choix était clair. Monsieur le Président, I must apologize for that. Été présent ici, tout and the reason I'm going into some detail about this, Your Honours, is je vous présente because I do not wish for a moment point, parce que je ne pas que uh, my absence que cette to have in any way the slightest impact a eu la on the civil parties that are represented. Sur les it has not que je been représente. a discourtesy to the bench at all. Ce pas par de What is important is that throughout these proceedings, uh, civil party, civil party group one has been constantly represented, both by uh, Cambodian, with the able assistance of the Cambodian par, lawyer sitting uh, next to me, uh, as well as Cambodian international representation. Côtés, and in that une line, Your Honours, I must et sur ce point, monsieur, madame, monsieur, give my madame, very juges, great and sincere thanks je uh, to my uh, co-counsel, uh, Alan Werner, who was throughout Alain here Vermeer, in these proceedings, qui a and Brian McGonigal. Your Honours, I do hope Madame, les juges, that when assessing the evidence that has been brought, or the questions that have been put, été, uh, or the submissions that have been filed by Civil Party Group 1, Your Honours, we'll come to civil, the conclusion vous that within the system that's been devised, en place, they have assisted and shed some light, however small, a su lumières, however faltering, on this case. Sur les faits Your Honours, of course, are independent judges, vous êtes des juges and Your Honours will not for a moment et il est vrai que uncritically accept vous the account or the theory or the version put forward by the prosecution or by the defense or for that, Marty, or, or, or for that uh, matter by civil party group one to four. Your Honours must independently weigh, re-evaluate and then assess the evidence you've heard and to navigate a way through this evidence so that you come independently to the truth. Enfin de compte Your Honour, the final remark before I pass uh, the next stage of the uh, submissions to my learned friend is poursuivre. that a feature of this case donc en and a lot que has been made of it has been the accused's acceptance a reconnu of various limbs that have to be proved by Your Honours. Now, Your Honours, of course, will give proper credit uh, to uh, whatever has been done and agreed by the accused. Et That's Madame only right. Juges, uh, il est naturel que vous prendrez en But Your Honours cette reconnaissance must, par objectively, we say, Mais vous devez aussi, review the evidence to determine whether or not si <laughs> what has been accepted oui non, ce qui a été by the accused amounts to full disclosure 
and the full truth. Your Honours, for reasons that I will give de la when I rise again after my learned friend, Mr. Srinachi, it is our strong submission that the evidence discloses only one conclusion that for all that has been said by the accused, for all the eloquent submissions of the defence, in large and important material particulars, even today, the accused has sought to evade or minimise his role and the reality, the awful reality, that was S21 and the regime that operated there and the fate and the suffering that befell so many civil parties that we all represent. Your Honours, at the moment, with your leave, Mr. President, Your Honours, I will pass the floor to my learned friend, uh, Mr. Inati. I'm grateful. Council, to follow up, I would like to present uh, the final or the closing statement for the civil party group one. Uh, Your Honours, I on behalf of the civil parties Madame group one and the representative civil, of the legal interests of the civil parties en tant que représentant des priced of 37 civil, people whose relatives savoir, and uh, proches, their loved ones have suffered uh, a great deal from the very barbarous acts. À la suite des actes barbares during the Khmer Rouge regime, especially at S21, the venue which was under the chairmanship of the accused, Kangek Iu alias Doj. I am going to make a brief closing statement concerning the role of the civil parties and the legal standard Et concernant la norme for civil party applications. Qui à la participation des parties civiles. During this course of my submission, I will be presenting to the courts uh, the grievances and concerns of the civil party group one. To begin with, uh, I would like to touch upon the role of the civil parties. According to the internal rule, Rule 23 of the ECCC and the Criminal Codes of Procedures of Cambodia of 2007, the provisions are covering the role of the civil parties in the law already and the documents have already been put before the chamber for consideration. And uh, in other international tribunals, the role of the, um, uh, the civil parties have already been well considered, uh, especially the participation of the civil parties in the criminal proceedings. The main role of the civil party participation in the proceedings is uh, to take part in the criminal proceedings uh, uh, brought against the accused by the prosecutors. So as the direct victims of the crimes, Donc, the civil parties 
have the very important role to ont un rôle and earth the truth of the crimes important. committed uh, more than 30 years ago at S21 and uh, in the Khmer Rouge regime et afin de contribuer à établir la vérité Either sur the ce qui s'est passé been inflicted sous le régime against, uh, on them directly or soit vis-à-vis -vis des crimes qu'ils ont directement subis, soit vis-à-vis so -vis des crimes que leurs êtres chers ont subi, donc les parties civiles ont from the subi un préjudice the mental et physique to, des crimes, uh, the le crime, the souffrance so qu'ils ont dû endurer pendant le reste de leur vie, very et le rôle des parties civiles est uh, extrêmement so important. We have been here on behalf of them and uh, to lodge the complaints uh, before the et présenter tribunal. leur uh, plainte devant le tribunal. I believe that uh, without the presence of the Et civil parties que sans in la the présence ECCC des parties proceedings, civiles, la procédure the trial chamber would find it rather difficult to measure CPC. the magnitude of the sufferings of eh all the victims at S21, as well as the consequences uh, or the damages la caused uh, to them. Ainsi que les préjudices the presence of the subi. civil party additionally helps aide. En outre, reveal the truth of uh, their suffering la and their situation at S21 and the supposition of uh, S21, the accused and to tell the court how their suffering was. Également, aide à prendre la mesure de cette souffrance. So the civil party participation Par conséquent, in the la participation des partis civils à la procédure est ici de chercher à ce que justice ones. soit rendue pour Those who elles have suffered et pour uh, les êtres chers, the very ceux cruel qui ont acts souffert et subi les actes cruels uh, act, uh, ainsi que les actes injustifiés Many victims COVID have not been familiar or have never victimes. been told of their ne offenses uh, when pas, they were arrested and detained at S21. De they leur délit ou ne connaissaient pas la raison pour laquelle elles avaient été amenées à S21. No, to à conséquent, find out il est the truth si and to see the perpetrators being on trial, vérité, especially those who have committed the crimes against them and their relatives. Personnes on top of this, qui ont commis ces crimes et de les juger. The ECCC ailleurs, helps the les CETC civil party to aide release their grievance à the suffering they have lived with for more than 30 years à exprimer la souffrance une souffrance qui est endurée Obviously, depuis ces 30 dernières années party, bien Nate évidemment étant vis-à-vis -vis de la partie civile de Nepali qui a été entendue uh, au cours de ce cette personne a clairement identifié quelle était la situation et ce qui est arrivé à son frère qui a péri à S21. Nous wish for his uh, brother soul to rest in peace because he believes that uh, during the course of this proceedings justice is uh, justice prevails. Euh, ce tribunal euh, l'âme de son frère puisse aller en paix. Et c'est ce que nous souhaitons exprimer. The role of the civil Le rôle parties in the proceedings of the ECC dans le cadre de la procédure des chambres extraordinaires au sein des tribunaux is cambodgiens, very important to assist est the trial essentiel to 
pour permettre la vérité et aussi pour la chambre make sure that de justice is done for d'établir la all the victims vérité et de rendre justice pour toutes les victimes as et a whole. pour and it is a great l'ensemble du Cambodge. Il s'agit là d'un also. effort considérable dans le contexte de la réconciliation nationale. So for that reason, there are 90 civil parties who Donc, have filed à cette fin, their 90 civil party applications to join the civil parties in case file dans le cadre du dossier Among 001. Them, there are civil parties who I or we represent que nous représentons dans groupe, nous représentons dans le groupe numéro 1, 37 parties civiles. L'une d'entre elles a retiré sa constitution pour des raisons de problèmes techniques dans la procédure. J'aimerais également signaler l'inquiétude de chacune des parties civiles que je représente dans notre groupe. Recognizing them as the civil à la chambre de les reconnaître civil party au rang de partie civile was a direct victim e of S21. Cette partie civile était une victime Proven directe de S21. Proven by substantial documentary evidence, which uh, the accused and the witness Mom Nye verified. Que, et ces documents étaient vérifiés par l'accusé par Mom Nye le 28 juillet 2008. Il s'agit uh, du document figurant e à la cote E1. Moreover, 3, 7. his own testimony confirms Par ailleurs, son his detention at S21. Témoignage confirme Lee Ho qu'il a suffered été détenu à S21. Personal Lee and a irreparable été une victime directe de S21 detention at S21. et a subi des dommages irréparables dus à sa détention However, à S21. When Cependant, he was brought before the chamber to give his testimony, he was challenged by the accused, and that his name, Lee Ho, was changed from Lee Ho, and from that point, the accused, Lee Ho, was changed de ce point de vue, l'accusé a refusé de reconnaître que Lee aurait pu être une partie civile authentique. Et dans la société cambodgienne, survivants du régime It is very hard for them to understand legal matters concerning the changes of names. They therefore arbitrarily or blindly change their names. Et il, il est monnaie courante de changer de nom dans la société cambodgienne. Pour ce qui concerne la victime Kerry Hamill, il s'agit là du frère de euh, la partie civile Robert Hamill. Number E2 slash 87. La victime E2 barre oblique 87. My apologies. Je vous présente uh, mes I excuses. Am here. I would like to that, Je m'écarte uh, ici. J'aimerais répéter ce que je viens de dire. One of the foreigners detained and executed at S21. Un des étrangers détenus et exécutés à S21. 
et les confessions de les Indiens corroborent Kerry cette déposition. L'assassinat de Kerry Hamill a eu des effets massifs et indescriptibles sur Robert Hamill, son frère et sur l'ensemble de sa famille. Sa vie de famille s'est désintégrée à la suite de l'assassinat de Kerry. Son frère aîné s'est suicidé. Upon having heard that uh, Curry was de executed de at S21, his parents uh, lost their uh, ability Curry to parent uh, for a long time due to their overwhelming grief. Longue, pendant une longue période And de temps, he dû took à solace de in alcohol, peine. resulting in Et his education il suffering. A trouvé réconfort dans l'alcool au détriment de son éducation. Another direct victim, Un autre how victime directe, Sophia. How Sophia. The 25 slash 4, who is the child 4. of victim Chen Xi, alias Hao Han, who was detained Han, at S21 detention facility. À S21. And another person named. Et une autre personne. Chen Xi. Chen Xie's name appears in the list of the prisoner, and the name has been verified clearly by the accused. Um, de because the accused acknowledged that Chen Xie was one of the victims at S21. Victim de S21. Civil party house appears injuries from the loss of her father are tangible. Les dommages subis par la Sophia physiquement et émotionnellement, sa famille est dans une situation très désespérée. Sa famille se retrouve dans une situation totalement désespérée sur le plan financier. For a long time, she was struggling to hold on to life. Pendant longtemps, elle s'est battue pour s'accrocher à la vie. Et à cause de la perte de son père, elle n'a pas pu aller à l'école, réduisant ainsi à néant ses ambitions de devenir Institutrice. And uh, because of that, uh, her Et mother was not able to cela, attend the proceedings. Sa mère n'a pas été en mesure de d'assister au débat. The accused uh, already recognized that Chen Xie was uh, executed at S21. However, he said that uh, he did not even know whether House of Pia was the daughter of Chen Xie, Chen Yuan Li, or not. Uh, and he asked that uh, further papers are submitted to prove the connection. Regarding that, this matter, I would like to respectfully Submit that ces informations. J'aimerais accuse dire avec tout le respect. Has made it clear already that he maintained that he was responsible for all the crimes committed at S21, and he, did, he said that he was in charge of the facility. However, in the contrary, he rejected the recognition of uh, the victim. The civil party uh, belonged to my group. So we would like uh, your honors to also take, uh, take deep consideration into the matter also. Ici, inviter la Chambre à réexaminer cette question. Victim Nate Bunti, who was the brother of civil party Nate Pali, Ali, E2 par oblique 50, was also the direct victim. Était Également Ned une Bonti is S21 prisoner biography Ned is on the case file. Corroborated Bonti by the accused recognition that Ned Bonti was a victim of S21. Civil party Ned Pali and his family became deeply depressed. Upon learning of his brother's execution at S21, 
On one occasion, his grief so overwhelmed him that he was unable to avoid a falling tree branch and lost his left arm as a result. Et en conséquence, il a perdu son bras gauche. The wrecked victim Chosa Rochard la victime directe Joshua Rothschild Nang Chem Nang Jeffrey Chem Civil Party Joshua Rothschild and Jeffrey James E2 slash E8 and E2 slash E8 86 were the wreck victim because they were the ont été des victimes directes nephews of James W. Clark. James Clark's name on S21 prisoner list and his S21 confession confirmed that he was held and executed at S21. The civil parties Joshua Rothschild and Jeffrey James suffer ongoing insomnia, nightmares and anxiety since learning of their uncle's death. Another direct victim, a direct victim, Man Sim, was the son of civil party Man So, the 25-18. Man Sim, alias Riem, entered the S21 on the 4th of December 1976 and was executed on the 17th of March 1977. Civil Party Mansoud is still in pain today because of his son's brutal murder at S21, evidenced by the lip. Du fait de la mort brutale de son fils à S21, debilitating anguish and persistent stomach pain et de douleur continue à l'estomac. The wreck victim Sman Slash was the brother of civil party Sman Nop E2 slash 44 and Sman Saw E2 slash 45. And the wreck victim Samad was civil party Sman Nop's nephew and civil party Sman Saw's son. Et du fils de la partie civile, Smansa. Smansles, alias Lang Sokang, who was detained and executed at S21, as evident by an entry on the S21 revised prisoners list. And his S21 prisoner biography, Samad, alias Saruen was also detained and executed at S21, evidenced by his entry on the revised prisoner list and his prisoner biography. The wreck victim, Talosmat, alias Manmat, and Manmat, was the son of civil party Manmat, E2-51, alias Manmat. Losmat, S21 prisoner by Graffi, S21 confession and entry of the revised prisoner list confirmed that he was held and executed at S21. Direct victim Clark Luon, alias Yon, was the father of civil party Yom Lang, D25-23. Clark Lewin's S21 prisoner biography and the entry on the revised prisoner list confirmed that he was held and executed at S21. Confirmed that he was held and executed at S21. Direct victim Suo Sovan was the sister 
était la sœur de la partie civile Swartzarin, D25-24, baroblique 24. Source Sovans, S21, prisoner la biographie, biographie de S21, photograph and entry on the revised prisoner list, confirm that she was held and executed at S21. Confirme qu'elle a été détenue et exécutée à S21. And her application has already been recognized by the ECCC. Et sa constitution de parti civil a également été reconnu admise par les CETC. Direct victim la victime directe Kang C, alias Don, was the brother of civil parties Kai Kon, D25, D25, And uh, Kai Samot uh, E2 slash Kai Keng sees S21 prisoner la biography and entry on the revised de prisoner list confirms that he was held and executed at S21. At S21. Director victim, victim directe, Chai Heng was the brother of civil party civil, Chai, Chai Heep, Heep D25 slash 10. Chai Heng's S21 prisoner biography with Heng, photograph confirmed that he was held and executed, executed at S21. S21. Direct Victim, victim Michael Deeds, Michael Deeds was the brother of civil party, de party Timothy Deeds, D25-22. Timothy Michael Deeds' S21 confession demonstrates he was detained and executed at S21. S21. Direct victim Ruan alias Ruan Savi was the brother of civil party Ruan Srainop E2-42. Ruan Mat alias Savi is listed on a revised prisoner's list. And his S21 confession and biography confirm He was detained and executed at S21. S21. Direct victim, victim Ismael Ahmad, Ahmad alias, alias Sok, Sok, was the brother of civil party, civil party El Lima, El Lima E2 slash 43. Ismael Ahmad's S21 prisoner biography and entry on the revised prisoner list confirmed that he was held and executed at S21. Direct victim Ismail Ahmad uh, was the breadwinner. The person, the whole family, depended on famille. because he was an Islamic Car graduate who received a scholarship to study in France and later on he was recalled to be executed at S21. Il a été rappelé au pays puis exécuté à S21. Direct Man Direct victim Min Khan was the son of civil party Man Lai E2-47. Min Khan is listed on a revised List of prisoners of prisoner S prisoner entering S21 on the 18th of July 1975 and being executed later in 1975. Direct victim Nyam alias Ra, was the sister of civil party Nyam Sopan. 
E2 slash 48, Nemto Ra is entered on the revised prisoner list, confirming she was detained and executed at S21. Direct victim, Sray Yang, was the husband of civil party Kummen, alias Kummen, alias E2 slash 52 Boisor was the brother of the party three Nek E2 slash 52. Moisor is listed on the list of victims executed at S21 in 1976. And the revised prisoner list indicates that he entered S21 on the 22nd of February 1977 and was executed on the 20th of July 1977. Direct victim Sok Heng was the father of civil party Heng Nyek Hong E2 slash 42 and S21 prisoner biography of Sok Heng with a photograph and entry on the revised prisoners list confirmed he was detained and executed at S21. Direct victim Beng Pum was the brother of civil party Beng Chanton E2 slash 55. Beng Pum's S21 prisoner biography and entry on the revised prisoner list confirmed he was detained and executed at S21. Direct victim Confirme qu'il a été détenu et exécuté à S21. Victime directe Yong Lun était le neveu de la partie civile Yong Chun. Yong Lun, S21, prisoner by our biography, confirme qu'il a été détenu et exécuté à S21. Direct victim Oi Ren, alias Oi Wen, alias Mao, was the sister of civil party Li Kiet, E2. Oi Ryan's name is entered on the daily monitoring list of prisoner of S21 for 3rd June 1977, evidencing her detention and execution at S21. Detention and his execution at S21. Direct victim Paul Kuhn, alias Chang, was the father of the civil party Paul Pungle, alias Ned, E2 slash 58. Paul Kuhn's S21 confession and entry on the revised prisoner list confirmed. De S21 confirme qu'il a été détenu et exécuté à S21. Direct victim Chan Sinun was the brother of civil party Chan Kroch. E2 slash 59. Chan Sinun's S21 biography entries on the name list of prisoners and interrogators. In group 8 of Comrade Smoon, an entry on the revised prisoner list confirmed he was detained and executed at S21. Direct victim Nong Kum Wet was the elder sister of civil party Nong Kum Lien, E2-60, Nong Kum Wet's 
S21 is in a biography confirms she was detained and executed at S21. The victim was the cousin of civil party Suan Sien, D25-15, Pan Oum's S21 prisoner biography and entry on the list of prisoners smashed on the 15th of October 1977 confirms he was detained and executed at S21. Direct victim Nop Ngan, alias Saar, Elias Charon was the elder brother of civil party Nget Sok, B25-20. Nops Ngan's S21 prisoner biography confirms he was detained and executed at S21. Direct victim Direct victim was the grandfather of civil party Sinsinet. I would like to make correction. Pick Kim was the grandfather of civil party Sinsinet E2-41. Pick Kim's S21 photograph. Uh, um, I apologize that we have a small technical problem. I need to consult with my esteemed co-counsel. Due to time constraints, I would like now to, to read only the name of the civil parties. Direct victims, Manjin, the father, elder brother of civil party, Lim Yun, E2-69. Direct victim, Heng Pun, alias Chun. Alias Chun was the husband of civil party, Q, Nyeb, E2-75. Direct victim, Prapan was the the husband of Nguyen Oiz, A2-73. In conclusion, I would like to uh, address the chamber that the civil, a number of civil parties in my group produce enough evidences to be admitted as civil parties. Unfortunately, a few number of seven civil parties in my group who fail to produce enough evidence and proof in relation to the kinships to be admitted before the chamber, especially uh, to indicate the kinships of the victim, including E2-42, E2-62, D25-15, E2-67, and E2-73, and E2-74, and E2-75. In relation to civil parties in our group that produce not sufficient as children by the party, the main ground that we could not find sufficient document to support that because the situation and the condition has happened during the 30 years period, Ces documents ont disparu dans la période de 30 ans, qui nous meaning that the documents, most of the documents has been destroyed de during the decay regime and also after the decay regime. Et après le régime du Kampuchea démocratique.
I still from help from. Mm. Mm. To begin, I uh, would like to give uh, the floor to my esteemed co-counsel because uh, the time allocated for my group is seem to be uh, very limited. So I give the floor to my co-esteemed lawyer. Uh, Mr. President, I'm uh, most grateful for the submissions put forward by my uh, learned friend. May I check, Mr. President, uh, with the, perhaps with the assistance of the court officer, uh, how long do we have left for civil party group one? Um, is it 10 or 15 minutes? 15 minutes. Uh, I'm grateful. Mr. President, I will try to finish uh, our submissions in the 15 uh, minutes that, were, that are remaining to, her, to us. There is indeed a considerable amount of ground to cover. Your Honour, perhaps the most prudent course is to take matters out of order. I do know that some of the other civil parties are going to be spending quite some time on the issue of reparations. Uh, the position of Civil Party Group 1 has been adequately and fully detailed in the joint filing of the 14th of September. So, Your Honour, on the issue of reparations, I rest with your leave on the written filing that is before you. As far as the other matters are concerned, as is clear from the, the brief that we put in, the, uh, our submissions are divided into four uh, main areas in which we take issue with the accused continuous protestation that he had no autonomy in S21. In effect, it seems, Your Honours, that the accused is saying, whilst uh, bad things happened, in S21, uh, he was simply a tool, uh, and he couldn't really have done much about it. He could not have done much to alleviate the suffering. He couldn't have done other than simply be the chairman of this camp, which I have not the slightest hesitation in describing as a camp dedicated to death. Que je pas à uh, Your Honour, the second aspect of the closing brief que nous is the submission that the accused used the autonomy that he had le fait que not to alleviate suffering in any deliberate manner. Non pas pour there are sporadic les des de S21, examples that he gives et ce les whereby the odd person is saved. But, Your Honour, there's no systematic, deliberate, sustained evidence of seeking to alleviate suffering. Uh, this is no Schindler uh, that is before you. This is no individual that sought to minimize suffering. Rather, we say he was continuously dedicated to his job. Your Honour, this, the act, the role, the part played by the accused was not, we say, simply confined to S21 and the miser miserable creatures that were tortured and killed there in the basest and the meanest fashion. We say this campaign of terror and torture that the accused headed in S21, that he ran in S21, had a clear causal effect on increasing the paranoia elsewhere in the upper echelons of the party that resulted in a vicious cycle in which more and more people were arrested, more people were tortured into nonsensical 
and completely, very often completely false confessions. Sur la base uh, and so the circle continued. Uh, and Your Honours, we say that the accused, nous disons pour notre part que as was apparent also from the psychologist's report before Your Honours, did what he did, not only because he was ideologically of the same mind as those senior members in the Khmer Rouge at the time, not only because he wished to belong to the powerful group then in power, but also because it made life comfortable for him. Your Honours, dealing with the issue of autonomy, uh, contrary to the accused uh, submissions that he had little or no autonomy, the evidence, we say, gives, lie, gives the lie to that submission. Uh, Your Honours, uh, this evidence uh, is before you. On the 22nd of June of this year, of this year uh, the accused stated he almost forgot, but he fled with a dentist uh, who was incarcerated and that she later died. He also stated, and this is at page 29 to 30, that uh, three other people were spared. Your Honours, one must juxtapose these examples that pepper the evidence before the trial chamber with other examples where the accused, having the option under the cloud, under the shroud of chaos to allow people to leave, showed no mercy and eradicated them. And he states that the reason he did that, the reason he smashed them at that time, was because he thought the Vietnamese were returning. Your Honour, he stated on the 8th of June, 2009, at page 14, a, another example of a group that he decided he had sufficient autonomy uh, to seek to save, and they were painters and artists. Your Honour, on the 28th of April 2009, he gives uh, another example uh, of his autonomy. Contrary to his protestations of lack of autonomy, uh, he stated in that moment of clarity, we say, that on his own initiative, he proposed moving the detention center of Ponyo Yat High School, moving it to the Ponyo Yat High School. And that proposal of his was rubber stamped, it was approved by the upper echelon. Uh, and, Your Honour, he simultaneously decided that a new killing field would be opened up, and that would be Chiong Ek. Uh, Your Honour, he stated that he, he didn't request prior approval. He didn't require consultation for these not insignificant decisions. He did it of his own volition, under his own clearly understood powers, and after he took the act, he had sufficient confidence to report it to his superiors, who once again rubber-stamped it, once again they allowed it, without any consequence to him whatsoever. Your Honour, he stated that when it came to individual cells, again, he didn't even report that. Forget about seeking prior approval. He didn't even report uh, the implementation of ind individual cells higher up to his superiors. Now, your Honours, one must wonder, and we say Your Honours must wonder when considering the evidence, what happened to this autonomy? Where did it dissolve? Where did it evaporate when it came to the interrogations, the torture? and the killing 
of so many people. Your Honour, there's been no evidence led, for example, by the defence. And of course, the defence quite rightly can sit there on their hands and do nothing. It's their right. But they are putting forward a case which we say is seeking to minimise the role of the accused. They haven't put forward any attempt, for example, of the accused to, in the course of interrogations that he clearly guided by his annotations and by his directions, the information which he sought from his subordinates by his clear directions. No attempt by him, for example, to seek to get answers from those that were incarcerated, implicating, for example, people that were already dead, so that, of course, no new people could be rounded up and incarcerated. Uh, many options, we say, would be open to an accused that was not actively desirous, actively committed, and actually actively intent and actively loving the job he was charged to do. And your honours in due course must critically analyse the evidence and decide whether or not the protestations of remorse put forward today are false, are true, or are a mixture, are a mixture of moments of truth and still residual, deep-seated attempts at denial, shifting blame, shifting responsibility for the most terrible incidents that took place on that camp in S21. And, Your Honours, when assessing the evidence, I would ask Your Honours to be alive to the type or the manner in which evidence has been elicited. Uh, as I was going through the uh, transcripts, uh, various examples uh, became clear where, by dint of leading questions, by dint of leading questions put forward by the defence, the accused provided evidence that perhaps should be given very marginal, if any, probative value, should be given very little probative weight without independent and spontaneous evidence coming uh, from the mouth of the accused. Your Honours, just one example is uh, the questioning of the 16th of September, at uh, page 51. And uh, my learned friend for the defence, uh, on that occasion it was Mr Roux, put this question, and I will take the time to read it in full. He said, Doik, do you authorise me to tell the victims that if they wish, they can come and see you in your prison cell, that you will open the door of your cell to them and the door of your soul? Do you authorise me to tell the victims that, Doik? Do you wish me to tell them that the road does not end today and that the road that connects you and them remains open if they wish it to be so. Your Honours will read in due course the answer. But, Your Honours, in my submission, one must be alive to leading questions, guiding any witness, including an accused that's before you. And that kind of answer to that kind of question must be given either little probative value, or at the very least it must be approached with the utmost caution. Your Honour, there was substantial autonomy uh, for Doig as to the methods of torture that he adopted. Uh, Your Honour, you have heard expert testimony from witnesses that uh, no documents were found, in fact in the archives, no evidence has been collected that dictated to the accused any particular forms of torture that he had to adopt. He had autonomy to design a, a system, and we say that the evidence discloses that he designed a cruel and callous system, taking forward what he learned in M13 and perfecting it in large manner to those people that were unfortunate enough to come to S21. 
And, Your Honour, the evidence of S13, whilst it doesn't form part of the charges, is not irrelevant. Because, again, we say it provides an insight, a glimpse into the real intentions of the accused that's before you. Your Honours will remember, perhaps, the testimony of the accused, the evidence of the accused, that in M13, when people were placed in pits and some drowned to death, he came up with this, we say, fanciful, bizarre and nonsensical idea that they were placed in these pits for their own protection from the airstrikes of the United States Air Force. And Your Honours perhaps will recall the evidence before you that, in fact, at that time, the aerial bombardment, which was then conducted by the United States, had largely finished. Your Honours, we say this is a very clear example of the accused failing to accept the reality of what he did, minimising his role so that he could somehow put himself forward as a pitiful creature himself, somebody deserving only mitigation for whatever and not grasping the sharpest nettles not grasping the harshest truths of his conduct. That is not to deny the fact that in other areas, on softer areas of torture, uh, the accused, of course, has accepted his responsibility. Your Honour, often things are not black and white. They are, uh, there are areas that need to be forensically analysed, and Your Honours need to do that with great uh, scrutiny and care to get to the truth. But Your Honours, we say that when looking at the evidence, a pattern clearly emerges. Uh, an example is uh, his evidence on the 22nd uh, of June that he denied giving orders for people's fingernails to be pulled out. And when he learned of it, he said, stop it, it's, it's terrible. Words to that effect, on page 86 to 87. Uh, Your Honours, there's no evidence he punished the perpetrator. But more importantly, when you read that in conjunction with his denial that he ordered and encouraged and knew people eating, uh, uh, that he ordered people to eat uh, excretia, and compare that with the evidence that has been put before you. We say that a pattern emerges in which this accused is once again shifting responsibility and minimizing his role in the most brazen fashion. Because in that regard, whilst accepting that he didn't punish the uh, guards that forced detainees to eat their own excretion, uh, on the 21st of July, states that, in fact, he was taught by what I say was his master, uh, Doig. He was taught to insert needles under the nails uh, by Doig. It was considered a light technique. It was painful enough to serve their ends, and yet work could still be obtained uh, from those individuals. Uh, Your Honour, the same witness stated later on uh, that this was to humiliate individuals. And also, they were told, the guards were told by this accused that sits before you, that they were to require detainees to eat their own excretion. The question that was put was, uh, was it possible to have him eat his own excrement? Is that what you're telling us? And the answer from this witness is this, that on this particular point, he told the interrogators to apply it, clear and unequivocal. And he even instructed us to draw a picture of a dog and pay homage to it. Now here, Your Honour, we have the dog. And once again, the accused says, well, actually, however awful it seems, however culturally insensitive it seems, uh, in fact, this was again a device to spare these individuals uh, a worse fate. Uh, Your Honour, we say that's patent nonsense, complete and utter fabrication. Your Honour, there is often a ritual incantation by the accused in the course of these proceedings to express guilt. And Your Honour, we accept, in some part it may be true, in some small areas, the words have been spoken. And Your Honours have the difficult task 
to see to the extent to which it is real and sincere. We say, as a matter of law, that when one compares the process here, for example, to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission models, and in one of our, in our appendix to our closing brief, we refer to the South African Truth and Reconciliation model. Their amnesties uh, were available where individuals gave unconditional, absolutely honest and unrestricted truth. We say that has not happened here, and your honours must be alive to that when assessing the gravity of the harm to the civil parties we represent and in determining the truth. Your honours, nothing could perhaps be clearer than what we say is the really rather naked example of the accused denying what is obvious to anybody that is objectively considering the evidence. Your Honour, on the 22nd of June 2009, at page 39, a document was put to the accused in which he told a comrade Pon uh, to use hot methods and really extract information from uh, the suffering detainee at whatever cost, even if it resulted in his death. Now, Your Honour, that's in black and white. It was part of the archives that were recovered. Uh, it was put to the accused. Rather than accept it, and say, well, it's a terrible mistake, it was a matter of the time. Your Honour, what he says, what he says, is this is a strategy to bluff the detainee. Your Honour, as we say, when you put all these together, a pattern emerges. This was not a strategy to bluff a detainee. This is a strategy, to, this is a strategy of the accused to try to bluff this court. The President uh, Civil Party Group 1 has already used up the time allocated uh, to them. How much time would you wish to take to finish your final uh, closing statement because times have already been wisely allocated that uh, we expect the group two submission will be completed by 12. I'm alive to that and I do apologize. Uh, our timekeeping has gone uh, awry. Your Honor, there's a lot to cover, but perhaps if you could indulge me with five to ten minutes, I'll try to do it in five, but five to ten minutes and I will try to cover very quickly the areas that I've got, but uh, Your Honours, within five minutes in any event, I'll try to conclude. I, I'm in Your Honours' hands, of course. The President, uh, you are allowed uh, another three minutes Je vous donne encore trois to minutes finish your statement. Pour terminer vos observations finales. And, uh, of course, uh, you have uh, not covered the uh, substantial part of your, uh, clo uh, the statement. That's why three minutes you may wrap it up. Mr. President, I'm most grateful. Your Honours, uh, the evidence before you, and it's referred to now uh, brief, discloses a clear and sustained attempt by the accused to avoid the most awful parts mm. of what happened mm. in S21 and to say he was a ignorant of it. Se Your Honor, la plus he de blatantly des éléments qui se sont produits à S21. and unashamedly ah, juges, was hein, trying to ingratiate himself with the higher up uh, echelons de in power at that time. Uh, Your Honor, there is a clear example of rice uh, being available. Uh, uh, at one un moment, and we have uh, numerous examples un of exemple people being carried like pigs qui était disponible. on sticks. So emaciated were they, people eating gruel, uh, and were suffering and weak. And yet when he has the boon of having gruel, ample uh, rice, what does he do? Does he feed it to these starving and emaciated uh, people in his care? Eh bien, uh, Your Honours, no, he does uh, not. What he does, he gives it il va to cela. Uh, his superiors, le and he says very clearly he uh, wants to promote the reputation of S21. Your Honours, the, the, 
the fact of the paranoia and the effect it has is detailed quite significantly by the evidence uh, that is before your honours. And your honours, I would refer to Aitchison's expert report and testimony and uh, the evidence of, of Chandler as well. But clearly we say that there is a correlation between the activities of Doik and the suffering and the activity in S21. Your honours have got E68.3, E68.4 and E68.2. Uh, these are the various uh, graphs the prosecution put forward showing the number of uh, people detained and killed in the camps. And we say that there is a clear correlation between the periods when uh, the accused is very active and the number of people that are detained and arrested. Your Honours, I would refer very briefly to the transcript of the 19th of May 2009, in which an example is given of people being arrested because of information received by Doig in the course of the torture and confession. Your Honours, in summation, we would ask you to consider the evidence that most carefully to get to the truth, to give, and there are difficulties here on reparations, but one thing that is in the power of Your Honours, that does not require a penny in a trust fund, does not require anything from any government, is the truth. And the evidence before you are not ici, ce n'est pas ici des sommes d'argent, mais la vérité, c'est ce que nous recherchons, c'est ce qui représente une valeur inestimable pour les partis civils que nous représentons. Madame et Messieurs les juges, c'est quelque chose dont il faut se rappeler. Je voulais évoquer une autre question concernant les témoins. Cependant, regardons les faits. Robert Hamel. Madame et Monsieur le juge, il s'agit là d'une désintégration totale de toute une famille, conséquence, and en conséquence d'un acte de Doig, que c'est l'ensemble de la famille qui a été écrasé, un père qui commence à sangloter lorsqu'il lave le linge, une sœur qui ne se remarie pas, un frère qui subit une souffrance continuelle. Je dirais que la souffrance ne s'est pas arrêtée à la porte de S21. La souffrance a affecté un bien grand nombre d'individus et un nombre de manières complètement différentes. Madame Sophia, elle est née 21 jours après la disparition de son père. Justice a été délayée dans ce matter. Non parce que la faute de l'accusé, comme je l'ai dit. But it's been delayed for, for many, many reasons. Your Honours, do have it in your power to ensure that justice is not denied. Your Honours, for those submissions, I would ask that Your Honours give the most anxious scrutiny to the submissions put forward in our final brief and find the accused guilty for the reasons put forward by the prosecution and supported by the judicial parties that I represent and my learned friends represent. Your Honours, I am most grateful for the additional time. Your Honours, I am most grateful for the additional time. Your Honours, I am The President, uh, since it Le is an appropriate time to take nous the adjournment, uh, à présent à we will de take la pause et the adjournment now. Nous allons lever la greffière, madame et messieurs, mesdames et messieurs, levez-vous.